Welcome builders and it is Jody and welcome back to Tips Tuesday. This is 10 tips for building contemporary houses in Minecraft. Big shout out to my sponsors, BigHosting.com. Use the code Andy Zoda for 10% off. Hey, you want to build modern, you want to build contemporary, you want to build sleek, good looking houses. Here are the tips for you. This is a pretty cool house, you must admit. What would be nice tips? Let me see. Big thank you to Vince DC. He's helped me set up. Whoa, I'm just having a wee dance to myself there. Set up 10 contemporary, more modern house building tips. We're even kind of working on that last one right there. Stay tuned. Here comes tip number one. By the way, we're working on 10 con uh, traditional tips as well, probably for next week. Hey, tip number one. Vince has said, use green or white flowers for modern builds. It gives color. It really does. It's such a simple tip, but add that flower pot, stick that green plant down. Think about maybe a blue accent color throughout your build if you're using blue plants, but really spice up those white rendered walls with some nice colored flowers. Easy tip number one. Tip number two, there's lots of glass in modern but don't use too much. Come on, guys, break those walls up a little bit. You can do it. You can, you can if you try, you can break up these walls. For example, here's a house I built uh, recently and I've got some glass in my walls, lots of glass, but then it went boom, I broke it up with this sort of soul sand and sandstone creation here. Really, if I come in the door, where's the door? Is this the door? Yes, this is the door. It's my house, I should remember. This is a little bit of broken up wallage. I don't know what you would call it, but yeah, the walls are broken up with some interesting pillars, columns, fireplaces, and maybe a little TV station there. Let's go back and on to the next tip. So yeah, don't go crazy with the glass. Break that wall up, provide some interest. Use your imagination. Use natural light. By the way, sorry about the spelling. That was Vince. We're blaming Vince on the spelling. He does his best. I'm only joking. Yes, you want plenty of natural light coming into your build. Think of double height spaces, open spaces, big double height windows, or lots of skylights lighting up your place with lots of natural light. You don't want dark nooks and crannies, or even crooks and nannies. Um, use a little bit of color, for sure. Use a little bit of color on your builds. Here we've got a green accent color, and although we haven't quite matched our greens here, accent colors are really important in contemporary builds because you wanna draw the eye to the important features, the fancy couch, the feature wall, the really cool modern lamp, and you don't want people just to be walking into a sea of beige or a sea of white and just feeling like they're in a padded cell. Spring that color on them, try and match it up, try and avoid pastel colors. To be honest, this ca carpet here is a little bit pastel-y and the pastel colors in my texture pack, which you can download, andyzoda.com, the pastel colors would be these ones here, very pastel-y colors, so you wouldn't want to use them. You might want to use some ones which are a bit brighter. The brighter colors would be the lime terracotta, the light blue, blue terracotta. These are nice, bright colors for a contemporary build. Provide that accent which provides interest. Okay, so how many tips is that? That's four tips so far. So tip number five, consider shade. Yes, make some places where in our bright, <laughs> sunshiny Minecraft worlds, it's gonna be a little bit shaded and little things like this with an upper slab and a, a lower slab can really provide uh, an extra bit of interest, detail, shade, shapes and shadows on the ground to protect your little Minecraft dudes when they're chilling out in their house. Can I, if I skip on to our last tip as well, here I've got an extended bit of roof as well and that provides a nice bit of shade as well. And if I do slash back and go back to that house I built recently, this one here has got these extended roofs here to an open area where you can chill out, but you can see you're still in the shade when you're sitting here and you can come and stand on the edge and grab some sun if you wish. Okay, so how many tips is that so far? That looks like it's pure loads of tips. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, on to tip number six here. This is all about connected textures. You don't want connected textures. Textures which are right close to each other look kind of bad in Minecraft. What you want to do is something like this, or alternatively sync one of the colors back, and that would be good because um, you don't have connected textures. Connected textures look awful in Minecraft. They really do look 
so bad. Get some privacy. Here are some cauldrons that have been used to provide some privacy when you poop. And I think that's a great idea. Think about dividing up um, your bathrooms to provide some kind of relief. People can come in and wash their hands and go to the shower, but they don't need to see you. No one, nobody needs to see you wipe. Okay, and there's no windows in here apart from some skylights, so the only people seeing you poop are the birds, the stars, and the low-flying aircraft. Ah, uh, so, yeah, a little bit of privacy here. Another kind of privacy one here, this tip from me this time. If you want some windows, but maybe you've got a bathroom here, you don't want people looking in to you having a shower. Look, side windows are another way of providing some privacy, but this do let some light into the build. So think about just putting up a wall here and providing some privacy uh, just like that. There we go. That's not a tip. That's not a tip. This is a tip here. This is by uh, Red Lobster. Have internal features dictate some external ones. I hadn't come across this tip. I was like asking the guys, asking the whole team, got any modern tips? Got any contemporary building tips? Um, and he says, well, sometimes your internal features can spill out and, and dictate what's on the outside of your build. So this is an outside wall. This birch doors, he's used world edit to stack those doors. Um, and it's an internal kind of a shower space. Uh, but the internal wall is really forming a dual purpose of an internal and external wall. I thought it's a really cool feature. And also this really neat skylight design with the red sandstone stairs in this texture pack has provided kind of an open skylight. And the roof has provided a bit of space for that open skylight as well. So the whole um, f purpose, the reason, the, the, the reason for the room being like this and having a skylight has dictated what the roof is going to be like as well. So it's really function dictating the form of the roof there. Okay, last tip, tip number 10, go open plans. Here we have an open plan, contemporary layout, got the kitchen, we can see the dining room, and we can see the living room. This is how people want to live in up-to-date housing. They want people to be able to cook in the kitchen, talk to people in the dining room, and come over and chill out with people in the living room as well, and have big entertaining and open spaces. This is what people are building today. When people are planning their open plan modern contemporary houses, they insist the architect have these big spaces, especially this big run of kitchen, dining, living room. This is very, very, very popular. If you watch the house building programs like I do, like Grand Designs, uh, this is what people do. And by the way, did you notice the accent color? We've got lime, we've got lime seats there, hopefully kind of lime, and then a lime bed there, providing a little bit of cushion and a bit of detail in that uh, little couch. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate absolutely every single one of you at home watching my videos. I've got over 133,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. It is just so pleasing. Guys, I'll be back next Tuesday with another tips video, probably 10 traditional building tips as well. If you've got any tips, let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Mm, subscribe you must oh my goodness i need to stop having too much sugar before i make a video <laughs> bye bye ciao ciao with the blocks be with you